What's up guys, got a really cool video for you for the glitch and bypass lovers on this channel. As you guys know, I've been posting those forever. Uh, there's a new one in iOS 11 that actually brings a lot of functionality to your device through Apple's, one of Apple's most secure features of iOS in general, activation lock or iCloud. This bypass for iPhone and iPad will actually allow you to do quite a bit. And uh, it's just really fun to see these glitches at work because how they're found is just insane. So I wanna give a big special uh, shout out to Apple Tech 752 for discovering this. But let me go ahead and show you the iCloud bypass found in iOS 11. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the iPad one because that one's probably a little bit cooler. I just wanted to show you all the cool stuff you can do with it. So this is an iPad that I went ahead and uh, uh, erased and then went and restored it and as you can see it's activation locked but nope I got some cool features in here I can be doing my thing uh, just watching videos doing multiple things for multiple apps through activation lock the cool thing about it though is you can lock your device be on activation lock and uh, come back and be in the very same place so it doesn't have to reset and you can literally get so much functionality from an iCloud locked device of course Apple doesn't want you to do this this is a security flaw as you can get into the photos and messages even if they're signed in in here uh, just not good for Apple so expect this to be patched right now it works in beta 1 and beta 2 of iOS 11 so if you guys want to get more functionality from an iCloud locked device uh, go ahead and updates to the beta and then you guys can do this so how do you do it let me go ahead and reset my device and I'll show you how exactly this works all right so I was just doing a little bit of experimenting and turns out this feature only works through uh, the menu, you can't be on the lock screen. Anyway, so jump into the actual device on the first menu page. Go ahead and triple click the home button to activate voiceover. And just go ahead and swipe up from the bottom and keep swiping, even though it's on voiceover, it's gonna be making a bunch of weird sounds. Did you see that? The dock pops up just like that. Triple click the home button and you got the dock on the activation screen. Now just clicking on these will do nothing. It won't open up anything as you can see. So what you have to do is do the drag and hold feature. So drag it up and let's go. And there you go. And the cool thing about it is it will actually save from where you left off. So if you were uh, watching videos, it'll open up right where you were, basically giving this functionality to you on the iPad. Now uh, the cool thing about it is you can keep doing it. So go ahead and dismiss that and uh, go ahead and swipe up again, turn voiceover off and uh, you can get into other areas as well. So here's the files app. You can actually see all of the files that are stored on the device. So if we go to browse and uh, this menu right here, you can't actually move it. So it's not movable. You can rotate it, it will adapt, but you can't dismiss it or move it or anything like that. But you can go ahead and access that person's iCloud drive if they are logged in. I tried signing into iCloud, guys. It doesn't really work. It won't let you do that. So obviously, uh, Apple doesn't want you to sign in and delete the iCloud from this device just like that. But maybe someone can use this to find something even better. So let's go ahead and try the other apps here. And there you go. All right, so uh, next one, let's jump into the messages app so just to show you guys now i've tried to log in many times it will not let you uh, sometimes you'll see the old user's email in here even you might get lucky and get their email but uh, there it is most functionality here is from safari so i actually wanted to show you something even further i personally discovered here if you actually go to the share settings in safari and then do uh, request or no add to home screen here you'll see your home screen pop up for just a second and as you can see it just goes right back but you get a brief access to the home screen which is kind of cool so that's the ipad one pretty neat i love the fact that it will save when you turn your device off and you can use picture in picture for video and stuff really cool now let's uh, go to the iphone version all right so with an activation locked device as you can see go ahead and jump in and this is the most simple one so just triple click to activate voiceover and uh, go ahead and just swipe in the top or bottom left over here and keep swiping up until this happens. Now you can go ahead and dismiss uh, activation lock, it comes right back, it's resilient, doesn't want to be dismissed. But go ahead and swipe on it again and this is what you guys need to do. Go ahead and tap on the bottom left and then you can open up the phone application, getting into the person's contact, uh, even the uh, recent photos if you jump into here 
and choose photos if there are any. I mean, chances are there won't be on the device, but you can also make phone calls here as well. So it will freeze, but make phone calls too if you dial a correct number and you have a SIM inside permitted. So that's definitely something Apple isn't gonna want you to do, but it is possible. Now you can actually continue to access the uh, app switcher with multiple apps open. Check this out. You can also get into FaceTime as well. So FaceTime will open up and uh, I was able to get into the passcode menu where you start typing your passcode, but it never really signs in. So I don't know if there's a way to make it fully go in. If someone can play around with this, maybe get it working, but you can activate 3D touch as well. So check this out, go over here and you can activate widgets. Um, I'm sure you can get in a little bit deeper. I haven't really played around with it much, but guys, there it is. That's the iPhone version. Uh, iPhone one doesn't let you do as much, but still you can pretty much get into the apps, which are here, the phone and FaceTime. Do let me know if you guys find out anything else cool about this glitch with iCloud, but add extra functionality to an iCloud lock device. And of course, I just wanted to confirm that the DNS server bypass still works in iOS 11, meaning you guys can get inside and go ahead and start exploring a bunch of extra features, uh, even roam the internet, but you can do that with the one I showed you guys. There's a lot of applications you can access using this, which is cool, even maps, the interface in general, is nice. So this still works. Just want you guys to know that uh, inside of iOS 11, even activate your flashlight if you want. Uh, basically, if you guys don't know how to do this, it's very simple. You guys need to forget the network you're currently connected to. Click the home button, click more Wi-Fi settings. Uh, forget the network if you're already connected. If you're not, go ahead and go to the DNS server and uh, go ahead and add the DNS server that's closest to you. If you're in USA, use the USA one. If your country is not listed, use the closest one to your country uh, and go ahead and type those in. Uh, go ahead and click back and then join the network and stay on the Wi-Fi page and the captive portal will come up. And once you dismiss it, you have to restart your device to get it back on your device. It's kind of annoying, so it still works. Just want you guys to know that the iCloud DNS bypass still works in iOS 11. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to mention that the iPhone iCloud bypass, the one they swipe in the bottom left, uh, this only works on beta one. So if you're on beta two, you need to downgrade to beta one but that one on the iPad works with beta two. So you don't need to do any downgrading to activate that. Just letting you guys know, Apple patched it in beta two, uh, but still working in beta one, you can get there by downgrading.